Monday and Tuesday could just say no homework, or they could say catch up. Anybody need me to wait any longer for what we need? You can use highlighters if you decide you want to color code stuff. I don't care if your shapes have straight lines or if they're a little squiggly, but that's why your 411 paper needs to stay out. So we're going to use that dot space. Right, that dot space. So, friends. Last reminder before I just move on, and when you come complain to me later, I say, I told you so. These are in math now. They were due on Friday. I gave you yesterday as another chance to turn them in, and like half of you still didn't. Now, your class is doing probably arguably better than any other class, but I'm still debating if we're going to do a winner for the homework contest or not. But for what it's worth, it is all tied up after last week. Right, so hopefully, maybe, if I decide that we'll have a winner from last week, you guys can maybe take the lead. But remember, if you have any of that homework to turn in and haven't, get it turned in. All right, the first problem in 411 is on your paper, but the reason I put the, well, more so left lead books out, is if you and your teammate are working fast enough that you're done with something and want to move on, you don't have to wait for me. Right, you guys can look in the book at what's the next problem and guess that that's probably what we'll do next. Sometimes I go out of order, but that's probably what we'll do next. So the first couple problems we got on our paper here, but then we can shift into the book if we want. If you're secretly trying to do homework, it's not a secret. I can tell. Please flip back to the front of your worksheet. We're working on the front of your worksheet. Go ahead and draw this on your paper. If you need to see it closer, pull your book closer and count how many dots. Do not put it in the middle. Put it like top left, right? Somewhere close to an edge. In that dot space, we're going to draw that shape on our paper. Uh, so, fourth thing in book because we're full on matter. And first of all, there's this is like a C scale. Right? So, I'm going to have to get the other paper to get that as well. So, the bottom of it will get in that C space. Probably popcorn. <laughs> so I believe it was one tall, well, two tall in total, right? If I include that side piece. So to copy it down, I'll probably do like one tall. It's two across the bottom. And then two across the like top left section, up another, kind of like a Tetris piece, right? Kind of, except we cut the corner off of it. Now we're going to highlight this bottom edge, right? Whether you highlight it or just make it extra dark or whatever you do to it, like make, make that bottom edge kind of indicated somehow. And now you and your teammate are going to work to enlarge that shape by 300%. So imagine that you sneak into the office, you go to the copy machine, and you start playing with the copy machine, because they're kind of fun to play with. And you go to the enlargement part of it, and you enlarge. What, what if I made something 100%? Like, what? That's full size. That's what I have, right? That's how it should look. So if I make something 50%, What's the size of the full size? Okay. Now it's might as well teach my class. Okay. It's half the size of the full size. So talk with your neighbors. Don't say it out loud right now. Talk with your partners. How do we make this enlarge by 300? And then show that on your paper. Now be careful. Plan it out. If you draw it too high up, you're going to run out of space 
vertically. So plan it out, how much space do you need in that dot space, enlarge it by 300%. So like this bottom edge that is two right now, if that's the one that we're kind of like making priority, gotta shuffle up. What's your chance of getting cold? Ooh, how many people do we have in this class? You need to know the denominator, right? Destiny. What's another way we can talk about something? Hey, Raphael. We're moving on. So we. There we go. So Raphael said there's 16 people in this class. So now we got to move on. So destiny. How else could you say make something 300 percent? is like what we started with. We want a new one that is 300%. Can you guys figure out what to do here? Or you can always pass. Pass. Keegan? Um, yeah, you need to make this note on your paper. Go ahead and make that note. This is the same as multiply by 3. Because 300%, 300 percent, 300 percent, oh wait, what's percent mean? Over 100. So when simplified, that's three. So our new shape is going to be three times the original shape. So that highlighted edge that we had, how long was that initially? Ooh, how long was this initially? Guys, be careful. Everyone look right here. It is three dots. But how many lengths is it? It's two. This is one. This is two. One, one, one. No, wait. How long is this? No. No. This is a weird length that we don't understand yet. It's actually the square root of two, but you don't need to know that yet. You don't have to write that. But what I need you to know is this is not one. But we could make up a new unit for it and say it's it's one diagonal? One half. No, so it's definitely not one half. It's bigger than one, guys. This is bigger than one. But for us, let's just call it one diagonal. Okay, so all of these are ones, but we'll call this one diagonal. Cool? Because radical two is kind of confusing. So our new shape, if we do times three, so how long should my top edge of two turn into? Six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. My height of one turns into anybody. Help me out. Three, right? Because we're doing times three. We do six again. If you didn't do this yet, please do it. My height of one for this top right block. Now three. My width of one. Everything's getting multiplied by three, right? So now my one diagonal, my what was one diagonal, is now three diagonals, right? What was one diagonal now turns into three diagonals. Questions on this? You could even write 300 percent. You could indicate here that this was our 100%. If you want to make these notes really good. Who kind of...
kind of made me wish that they had taken better notes on these boxes. Like when we went and took our tests and we were able to use our notes. You don't have to raise your hand, but think to yourself, who kind of wishes you had taken better notes? And and maybe who kind of wishes you were like more comfortable using your math notes? Aha, I'm moving up here like where I want to be. Silly, silly results. Silly, silly results. So Here's your chapter four math notes, and you might notice that the first thing in there is something that relates back to, hey, don't get these out of order. You immediately pick them up and get them out of order. Do not then come ask me, hey, what order are these supposed to be in? If you want to staple these, go staple them. Otherwise, clip these in your math binder. I would not put them in page protectors yet, because we should probably highlight a couple things on here. Like, a few of you were coming to me complaining about those properties in number one of the mastery that we just took. You guys, look at this paper that I'm putting in front of you. What's the first thing in this set of notes? Mathematics. Engineering. What properties? Mathematics. No, but then read further. Which ones? Community. Hmm. The ones that were just on the test that we had. Because now we need to be working towards actually getting to mastery. Yeah. Did I get you guys with the notes? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. So, guys, here's our commutative property of addition. But now we're going to apply that to multiplication as well. And here's our associative property. And we're going to apply that to multiplication as well. But then a new property that we haven't really talked much about that I would highlight if I was you is the distributive. And you can sleeve these if you want on your own time, but because we're gonna highlight them and write on them and stuff, you don't really need to put them in sleeves yet if you don't want. Just keep them safe in your math binder. So take a moment, leaf through these real quick. Just kind of look at what like what is in our math notes, because here in a second, I'm going to ask like what you guys find interesting or what you noticed. And then clip them in your math binder, right? Clip them in, get them safe. Hmm. What? That's that's like what you should be doing is like, oh, yeah. Naming algebra tiles, combining like terms. Some things we've already done, some things we've never seen. Ooh, a bunch of examples on the back of equivalent ratios and solving proportions. Ooh, here's like what we're doing, right? If you flip to the back. So flip, hey, friends. Flip to right here on the back of your front page where it says similarity and scale factor. Okay, highlight or do something to indicate scale factor. Scale factor compares Now you don't have to highlight all that if you don't want to. But I would like you to write, we're going to make this easier. Scale factor, we're going to abbreviate SF. And to find the scale factor, sorry, not San Francisco. To find the scale factor, some of you might have already seen it. Because you might have read in your book. It is the copy or the new divided by the original. The OG. So if this is our new and this is our original, corresponding parts. Guys, that word is actually kind of important. Because can I match up this 10 with this 45? No, that'd be silly. 
right? If I'm trying to match up 10 with something, what would 10 match up with? The 10? Look at your notes, right? This vertical, the smallest side, right? It's the smallest side. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it even. 10. What's the smallest side over here? The 25. So to find our scale factor, we could do 25 over 10. What could 25 and 10 both reduce by? Five. Hey, don't get that tangled, man. Do not get that tangled. They could both divide by five. Divide by five, divide by five. Guys, you should make a little note of that if you're still not comfortable. Five and two. Oh, there we go. They have it on there, except the hole punch kind of got in the way, so I wanted to make sure we did it again. The scale factor from this original shape to this new shape, every way we set it up, whatever matching sides you look at, simplifies to five over two. Questions on that? No these math notes should be blank anymore, right? We have a bunch of stuff written in our math notes. Now, if you want to put that in a sleeve, we probably won't write any more on this today. But like, I, if I was you, I'd just clip it in your binder, sleeve it later, right? Just clip it. You didn't, uh, sorry, I'll flip back. So Rafa, you can always say that in a normal voice, right? You can just say, hey, please go back. Yeah. What? More on, like as in two different words? I did not say more on, I said more on. Unless I write more on. We're not gonna write more on this paper. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know I was going too fast. All right, so check this out. Still with your 411, because I didn't say put 411 back. Let's draw Karen's shape, because it's a bit more fun to draw. Karen's shape. Hey, this is not like a Karen. This is just Karen. She's cool. She's cool. Don't worry. She's cool. So the top is two. So guys, I would on your dot paper, if you still have this top space open, over here, like I would just do it, maybe, or you can come down here if you want to, but like wherever you want. The top is two. I'm gonna scooch this over. Um, so we're in the middle of class right now, Raphael. This is not an appropriate time to do something different. So if you wanna create like something else, whatever, that's fine, just not while I'm teaching, right? Let's talk outside of class. All right, I'm going to use the same colors, actually. I'm going to use blue to start. Uh, thanks. Oops. Question mark? All right, one, two. Guys, let's go ahead and label. Like, okay, so this is two. How tall is the left side? Four. Sweet. Thank you. One, two, three, four. And you guys can start to kind of make the decision of do you like dot paper better than graph paper? Like, yeah. for right now, to draw shapes, I bet you do, because the shapes kind of pop out a bit more. So if you ever want dot paper, I also have isometric dot paper that lets you draw in three dimensions. It's there. I'll, I'll show you guys at some point. How long is the bottom? Four. Four? Yeah, it is four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. And then, oh, a bunch of twos. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. And Karen goes to the copy machine and she's trying to save paper. So she programs into the copy machine a 50% copy. Draw on your paper what a 50% copy is going to look like. So this is our 100%. Right, it's our original. Karen wants to make a 50% copy. Make that copy for Karen. Ah, you are correct. At least there are none with three. Now, June, why do you say at least there are none with three? Because then you would have to do 
Yeah, because 50%, we're essentially going to do what? We're making it, right? This really is saying half everything. So our new shape, I mean, I don't think we need to wait much longer. Our new shape here, every two turns into a one. Every four turns into a two, right? Everything is going to be half of what it was. So, ba -doom. Ba -doom. guys, math has sound effects. If, if your math doesn't have sound effects, that's probably what you're doing wrong. <laughs> like, that's probably your mistake. I've never watched Frozen. What? Oh my god! Mr. Hudson! Mr. K, have you watched Frozen? What? My man! Oh my gosh! You guys are uncultured. We're uncultured? uncultured. Frozen is a classic. It's a kid's movie. Have you ever heard the song Let It Go? Frozen. It's the new, it's Frozen 2.0. It's the bro version. Frozen. There is a, there is a Frozen movie. Oh yeah, like and then everyone I, had seen it, and then like, and it's it's been out for like what ten years, and they still haven't seen it. Yep. So, yeah. I the kids I was babysitting one night watched it, and I I did not partake. Um, apparently I hey so apparently I goofed up and I skipped number three. So look in your book right now, see if you can find number three in your book, and see if that's one that we would do on dot paper, or what we would do. I'm gonna race you in the ebook. Rain it back in, Margo. In I don't know, Margo. Probably getting gorgeously All right, you got this in your book. You can do this without me having it in my slides, because sometimes I goof. Hey, hold up. There is too much singing. How tall is this shape? Six. Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Let's draw this. Let's draw this. Now, wait a minute. Now you get to choose. Uh-oh, now you get to be creative. And if you want to show it under the dot cam, you can. You decide. Do you want to make it bigger? Do you want to make it smaller? Now, wait. Is there anything different here than the shapes we've been working with, Gabe? What do you mean? Say more. Uh, so instead of like hitting the dots on the way down, this, guys, I might need to use my ruler. Hey, Margo, chill. I am sure it is. If you can't, leave. Hey, you got two options. Do math or leave. You're distracted. I'll be straight up. I can't teach with you doing what you're doing. So either fix it or leave. This diagonal, it, like even how we've been counting that this was three diagonals, this was two, di oh, you can't see. You guys are supposed to tell me when I'm being silly. See, Margo got me all distracted. Wow. So like this was one diagonal, this was two diagonal, that was three diagonal. But this Gabe brought up doesn't go through the dots. So guys, be careful. I would draw that side last. I would enlarge or reduce all your other ones and draw this side last. Have at it. What does your team want to do? You want to make it bigger? You want to make it smaller? Do you want to make it bigger? Yeah. 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 So Gabe said he and Christian are going to make a new shape. Hold on, question. Gabe said, actually say it, you say it. Oh, well first, wait, I want I you said 100. And I liked it. So if Gabe enlarges this shape by 100%, what's he get? This, guys, that's what I do every single, like, these, like these, were all enlarged 100%.
because I ran through the copy machine and I wanted back what I put in. So if you sorry, if you use 100%, you get back the original. But you could still say, okay, my new one is 100% of my old one. If we get smaller, this is going to be a little tricky. That one is going to end up less than one. So I feel like a lot of you guys might like decide to get like make it bigger. Now, if you're out of space on your dot paper, that is okay. Like you can draw it wherever you want. Anyone? Ooh, can I share yours? Because I like it. so. Addie is being really efficient with her space and saying, all right, I can draw my reduced shape in my bigger shape. I can draw my small shape or I can draw my big shape around my small shape. I will say this is where you got to be real, real careful. These look like they're kind of messing with us. So I'm going to have Addie go back and double check that because that's a little Actually, you try it again. I don't want to tell you what you did. You just try it again. I bet you can figure this out. Now, here's the cool thing you can start to do. Raphael made us one. He said, like, what if we start with a shape like this? Right? You can start to make challenges for your friends.